Hi there, my name is Bradley Drummond. I'm the Director of Application Engineering and Consultant Relations here at LEA Professional. And today I'm going to show you how to import and export settings to the amplifier. So first up, I'm connected to this amplifier here via AP mode to my laptop. I've got the IP address typed in on the screen here. So we're gonna go in to the amplifier here, and I'm gonna show you first how to do uh, speaker tunings, exporting and importing. So with a speaker tuning, it will actually store and save all the information for everything associated to that channel. So everything from the whole input selection, whether it's gain, your input uh, for primary, input for secondary, input sensitivity. Once you get into mode here, it will also store low Z, um, high Z 70 volt, 100 volt settings. It will also store smart power bridge uh, select information. Once we go down here, it also stores signal generation info, everything related to e, uh, crossover. So the gain for the crossover, delay, uh, polarity, high pass and low pass filter. All of your EQ settings here, so we can just enable a few things just to show. And it also stores the limiter information. So if we want to turn on an RMS and a peak limiter, keep that at 100 volts on the RMS this up 141, looks good, right? This is the settings we need. Uh, and same for load monitoring. It also stores load monitoring information and the pilot tone information. So everything, once you enable it, it's great. So in order to export these settings now, we're gonna go back to the crossover page and you can see here the section called speaker tuning. So say I wanna do channel one, which we're in here. We click on this export button it's gonna generate a file. Once it's done, we'll be able to save this. Now you see this export button here. So I click on that. Now I can save this. We'll just call it. So now we've saved channel one test. You can see it's a .json file. Um, so now that's saved to my computer. Now say I wanna bring that same speaker over to channel three. So in the same section underneath crossover, I click on the import button. Now it's gonna pull up to ask for the file. So I'll go back to my documents where I've saved it. It's right here, channel one test. And now it is fully imported onto this channel. So we can go back to some of these other settings here and see that we've saved it as a high Z 100 volt. It's now high Z 100 volt. Put in some crossover settings some EQ settings, it's pulled everything and stored that pretty much immediately to that channel. So that's how you get what we call speaker tuning settings, which is all of the settings for that channel to be copy and pasted over to another channel in this amplifier or any other amplifier that you might be connected to. So the next way to import and export settings, uh, we'll cover the whole amplifier. So if we go into this I button here, we can go down to advanced and you'll see it's generating export data for import export. So these are all of the settings for the amplifier, including all of the channel settings, all of your naming info, uh, connection information. So things like Wi-Fi password, whatever information you've stored at every part of the amplifier will now be exported through this button here. So what we can do is save this, amp export, just call it test one, save that here. So now if I had a second amplifier, I wanted to bring this back in. So what we can do is go back, we'll change a few things, just turn a few filters off so you can see really quickly. So we can go back into this button here in advanced and now we can import the settings. So you can select which of the settings you want imported. So network settings, you can select if you want that to be brought in or not. Amp settings, channel settings. We're just gonna choose all of it right now. So you click choose file, gonna go back to my amp export test, double click on that. 
and now we'll click on this import button here. And once it's done, this window will disappear and it should be all the settings changed and imported back into the sample fire. There we go, import succeeded. Now, just to verify that, we'll go back in here and you can see that all the settings are back to the way they were. So thanks for watching our video on how to import and export settings uh, to the amplifier. Feel free to follow us on our social media channels here, uh, follow us on our YouTube channel, and looking forward to see you in another video.